What's going on guys? <laughs> Chu here. Excuse my small laughter here, but this episode had me laughing so much. I hadn't laughed in a Black Clover episode as much as I have in recent memory at least. Because this episode had everything. I, I just enjoyed this episode and I had to rewatch certain moments over and over again. So I do apologize that if I do in this review laugh up some or sound light loud in the mic, I do apologize. But we start off with the meeting, which at first I thought it was going to be boring. I really thought this was going to be a boring meeting that we weren't going to have much of anything going to be said. But it actually had to be a very important meeting because we actually get to see that now that the Spade Kingdom has their like they're, they're all getting ready. We see that the training is about to happen. And we know that Asta and Nero were automatically going to be part of the training. But it was a wondering who else was going to be part of it. We actually have Yami saying that we're going to have Noel showing up. As well as Fenrir and Luck. That they were going to be the ones chosen from the Black Bulls. And it was funny to see Nozel's reaction. Being a little upset at the fact that Noel is going to be put out there. And this is where the episode starts to get funny for me. Because we have Dorothy picking at Nozel. And just being a chatterbox throughout this episode. I don't know if it's the fact that she's now awake and actually being very lively that makes her so entertaining but it's just she's adorable i love how funny she can be and using slang that was hilarious a little a little bit later on we actually also get to see that you know declines from being part of the group uh, mimosa gets selected from the golden dawn charlotte actually was the only volunteer that she decided and she wants to get stronger because she realizes that she needs that experience and of course when she says experience she starts thinking about her like her mind starts to wonder and other things but she realizes that she needs to get stronger and especially now that she has to fight these demons you know it's gonna be you gotta get stronger no matter what and so i was very surprised that she didn't say soul but maybe that group may be weak you know uh, and seeing charlotte train would be awesome i would love to see more interactions with her and she isn't the only captain that actually volunteers because we actually have real finally waking up from his days deciding now i'm going to train he, he was thinking about Charmy this whole entire time that he has been in a complete daze that this is his way of getting stronger and maybe, just maybe, he would get noticed by her. Don't think that's going to happen, but hey, Real, you can dream. You can dream so much. And honestly, Real's powerful. I'd like to see what he can do. And of course, we also have Leo from the Crimson Lions being brought in. So a good selection of people. I think those are good picks. But then after that, we then have the ceremony where they're giving the awards. I was honestly surprised that this actually happened, but I'm glad that it did. Yami was going to dip out, but all the captains were present. And we have them selecting Sol, Mimosa, uh, Leo, and Yuno. And Sol going first, goes up a couple ranks. Then Mimosa gets a few stars. Leo at first wanted to reject it, which was kind of interesting that he, he would feel this way. But it's not really that much of a surprise. He really does want to push harder. And he felt like he didn't deserve it. But I'm glad that we had freaking brother Fuego Leon come in and say, look, you're going to be all right. This is, they weren't protecting you for being weak. You're the hope of the team so of course this actually prompts him to then take it which i'm glad he did uh we get to see a little bit of charlotte here getting jealous of soul where at first it was soul looking at yami and then yami thinking she's glaring at me and charlotte thinks whoa, whoa, whoa i got a rival now and glares back at her and soul interprets that from oh my god she's staring at me passionately i'm gonna go harder now like what the hell i thought that was funny <laughs> A three-way stare down with three different interpretations. That was just funny to me. And then we have Yuno getting his recognition as well and climbing up to the same level that Langris is at. Something that has not been done before that actually surprised all of the captains there. So that was honestly a well-deserved recognition. I was a bit upset at the fact that we didn't have 
Asta there. Asta definitely deserved it. Even Noel and a lot of other members from the Black Bulls, they really deserved it. But most of all, Asta and Nero really deserved it for pulling through and actually being the weight. But I guess with everything happening right now, it's best that they kind of stay away from that. So it was funny like seeing all this but the king then has his own opinion he actually is like you guys are forgetting someone and honestly i was gonna think he was gonna surprise us all and maybe say asta but instead because of you know being a peasant and getting that kind of recognition he decides to give it to seke dark lord seke has now the same level as a first like vice captain and that makes sense because there's no one else at, in, in Jack's group that can honestly say is like worthy of it. We haven't really seen many of his members. So it's kind of like who in the hell is in this like, you know, family or group, you know, like what the hell? And so, you know, Seke obviously looks around and he has been judged. He is heavily judged by everyone. They actually look at him and just kind of like the pressure that this man feels but he says the right things and then of course the king leaves which was kind of funny just the angles of his fate of the faces here we see Seke's face being angled and the king's face and then we see Leo's face they, they, they knew what they were doing in this episode so they keep it very entertaining but after the whole debacle we actually have the real reason why julius had them all together and that is to give everyone the recognition the recognition that they all deserved everyone that was able to participate and fight everyone was going to be given one extra rank like they were going to move up one so in that regard you know julius did something that maybe no one else has done and I honestly, I really do hope that we do get to see Julius be way more participant in the next upcoming arc. Because honestly, we need him out there. This dude is honestly one of the greatest characters in this series. And he's being sidelined for the fact that he's a kid. And I hate that. But we also get to see the guys getting all ramped up and Magna finding his, his voice and trying to say, I want to get trained too. So everyone is getting ready to pump up and go for this training i'm excited to see what's about to go down and the best part of this episode no noel thank goodness but guys that is it for me i hope you guys have enjoyed if you guys have leave a like comment down below your thoughts and stay safe and i'll catch you later